In this video, we'll be deploying the highly popular YOLO computer vision model onto our local computer, and we will be also generating an inference from it. We'll be doing all of this by making use of a highly specialized command line interface called OctoML. This tool will help us to package and deploy a powerful machine learning model like YOLO anywhere from the cloud to our local computer. YOLO stands for you only look once, and it can be used for object detection, image classification, and image segmentation. The reason why it's so popular is because of its speed and accuracy. In today's video, we'll be using it for object detection and we'll be generating an inference on it. So that means if we pass this image into it, we should be getting something which looks like this in return when it does object detection. And we'll be doing this all under 15 minutes. So let's get started. The very first thing we want to do is download Docker if you don't already have it. Docker is going to help us to create containers and also download containers which are needed for this project. Once you have opened Docker, go into a terminal and type in Docker info so that we can check if Docker is running correctly. If you get a response like this, Docker is running correctly and we can move on to the next step. Once we have done that, we want to actually download a baseline Docker image that we can work off of. So we need a specific version of PyTorch and this Docker image already has PyTorch installed. So we're going to be downloading this onto our local computer. So you can do that by copying this address right here and typing it into our terminal by typing in Docker pool and then just pasting that address. Once that has been downloaded, let's actually type in Docker images to verify that this image has been downloaded. And as you can see it right at the top over here, this is the exact image that we have just downloaded. Now that we have downloaded the Docker container, we need to actually create a folder next. So what I've done is created this folder called OctoML CLI tutorial, and I've done this in my home folder. Feel free to create a file of whatever name you guys like, and inside of it, create another folder called docker-mount because this is going to be needed when we are binding our container and our local computer together. So once we have done that, go ahead and run this command and you can change the source address to match the address of the docker mount folder that you have created. Once we have created this connection, if you go on to Docker, you notice that a new container has been created. So go ahead and click on these three dots and click open in terminal. The commands that we enter into this Docker terminal will be executed onto the PyTorch container that we downloaded. Now that this connection has been established, what we want to do is prepare this container so that we can actually download the YOLO model. And what we're going to do is update the libraries which are on this container. And we're going to do this by typing in apt get update. Next, we are going to be installing Git because that is what we need to download a clone of the YOLO model. So in order to do that, we will be typing in apt install git all. If you need to refer back to some of the commands used in this tutorial, I'll be leaving a link to the full tutorial, including all the commands in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. Now that we have set up the container that we have downloaded, it's time that we actually download the YOLO model into our container. There are multiple versions of the YOLO model. And in this video, we're going to be making use of the YOLO v5 model. And it's created by Ultralytics. And it is super easy to download as well. We would just need to type in git clone with the link of its GitHub repository. And we are going to be typing that into our terminal right here inside of Docker. And hence, we will be cloning the YOLO v5 model into the container. After cloning the YOLO v5 model, we also need to install some specific Python libraries which are required to run the YOLO v5 model. Now, the list of libraries that are required are actually listed in the requirements.txt file. We will be using this command to install all of the libraries which are listed in the requirements.txt file. 
At, at this point, we have downloaded the YOLO v5 repository from GitHub. Now, what we are planning on doing next is actually getting a very specific model from the repo. So the repo contains many different versions of the uh, v5 model, but we are going to be getting a very specific one. And in order to do that, we first need to install wget. wget is a basic uh, Python library, which helps us to communicate with servers. So that's what we're going to be doing. So apt install you get next we are going to be downloading the specific model we want which is yolo v5s.pp so we want to get this model so all you can all you have to do is right click and copy link and this is the specific link just for that so go ahead and type in you get followed with the link Once the download has been finished, let's actually list out the files within our folder by typing in ls. You should be able to see yolo v5s.pt. So that means our model has been successfully downloaded. So next up, what we're going to want to do is convert our model file from the .pt file into an onnx file. So onnx files are compatible with the Octo ML CLI. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So just go ahead and type in python export.py wait uh, yolo v5s.pt include onnx. Depending on what device you're using, this conversion could take a few minutes to run. Once we have converted it into an onnx file, Let's actually uh, check a list of our files in this folder again to make sure that it has been converted. So as you can see, now we have a YOLO v5s onnx file. So that's perfect. So this is the file that we'll be passing into OctoML's CLI. And what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be copying this onnx file into our local machine. So go ahead and type in cp yolo v5s.onnx and then the address for our workspace. Once you have done that, when you go ahead back into your home folder and if you go into Docker mount, you should see the yolo v5s.onnx file right in the Docker mount folder. Next up, we're going to be downloading OctoML CLI tool. I'll be leaving a link for this in the description box below, so do check that out. Click on that link and download their CLI that way. Their CLI is available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. So select the OS which matches your local computer and download that. Once the download has happened, we're going to go back into our OctoML CLI tutorial folder we created at the beginning. And we're going to create a new folder called OctoML CLI. And what we're going to do is we are going to be dragging the CLI folder that we just downloaded into this folder. Once that has been done, click to launch it and you need to verify this into your settings if you're using Mac to actually allow it to be downloaded. So you can go into security and click open anyway. Just go ahead and close this. And next, what we're going to want to do is actually put our YOLO v5s.onnx file and we're going to want to put it into the same folder which we have downloaded the OctoML CLI into. So this is what we would want. Now that I have both the OctoML CLI and our model file in this folder, what I want to go do is actually open a terminal in this folder. So I'm just going to right click and open a new terminal. Next, we are actually going to initialize the OctoML CLI. So go ahead and type OctoML in it. And it will automatically detect which model we're referring to and which model we would like to package. Since we only have one model with, within this folder, it is already uh, giving us that YOLO v5s. So just type enter. It's super easy to use because you get all these helper commands right off the bat. So next we're going to run OctoML package.
and then we're going to be running octoml deploy so there you go our docker container with our yolo v file uh, model has been created and we can verify it by going on to docker and as you can see a new container has been created and is running locally if you click on the container we also get to see triton inference server logs right here just to make sure everything is in order and that our inference server is working as it should we're going to run the following command to connect to triton and also collect stats so connection to host local host left intact so that's perfect now what we're going to want to do is go back into the first container that we created go back into the CLI and download curl, which is a Python library, which will help us with connecting and making sure that this container is also connected to the Triton. So app install curl. Once that's done, we're going to run the same command we did previously in order to test the connection with Triton and in order to test that we are going to be getting stats. So let's have a recap of what we have done. We downloaded OctoML CLI, we downloaded Docker. In the first container that we created, we have the detect.py script and also the inference script, which will actually be calling for inference from the second container we created which contains our model as well as the triton inference server so both of these containers are now communicating and what we're going to be doing is we are going to be passing an inference request into our model container in order to retrieve an inference to create an inference request we need to identify some input images that we want to pass into the yolo v5 model Next up, store the images that you want to run this model on into the docker mount folder. So I'm going to be selecting these, these images that I want to run the model on. Once that's done, let's go back to our terminal within docker and run the following command. Here we are calling the detect.py script, which is essentially going to run the inference for us. And we are passing in our image address as well as the weights. So we have run, ran our first inference and the results of our first inference has been saved into the, this file called runs slash detect and then exp4. What we want to do is copy this file over into our local computer. To do that, run this command, which will be copying the output of the inference right back into the docker mount folder. So within the same folder, we are going to get an output image of the same name and take a look so this is our first inference using the yolo v5 model you can also provide videos as inputs and that's exactly what i did in this example of this video of penguins and this is the output that i got hope this video on how to deploy the yolo v5 model was useful do check out octoml cli in the description box below thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video